Hi guys, I have something really special for you today. It started a couple of weeks ago when I got something in my mail, which was this beauty over here. This is a personal invitation from Mercedes for the premiere of the new C-Class. And I'm going to hit up their shop tomorrow so we can check, check how things are. Tr maybe some try out some cars. So let's see what Mercedes have sent us in here. There is a personal letter. Uh, dear Mr. Martin Ivanov, blah, 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 blah. We would like to invite you to the premiere of the new C-Class, blah, blah, blah. We would love to hear from you. Great. Thanks a lot, Mercedes. They've included also some promotional materials here. This is for the German football national team. Sadly, this year they didn't do that well in the World Cup. Some presentations of the car, how they look. Some offers for cheap other models, if you want to buy them. Also something that I got in the mail was the Mercedes Me magazine, uh, which I actually regularly really get. And um, just a note here, this is not a paid, paid commercial or something. This is not a paid video. Also, I don't pay anything for this. Just Mercedes just sent this to me because I'm their customer. They also included another letter with the magazine inviting me again to the premiere. And put this little nice picture here and promotional, whatever it's called, with, with the Mercedes that we're going to see tomorrow. This, this is the new C-Class. So first thing tomorrow morning, I'm going to go pick up my friend Rainer, he's an ex-colleague of mine and we will go directly to the Mercedes shop and try to get ourselves some C-classes that we can test drive. It is 8.30 a.m. on a Saturday and I'm going to go pick up Rainer right now and go to test drive the new Mercedes C-Class. <laughs>
So this is the C-Class that we're going to test drive today with Rainer. and to be honest I'm kind of surprised from the car it wasn't as dynamic as I expected uh, and also it felt like really really light compared to mine yeah. mine is an SUV so yeah well compared to an A1 it felt pretty <laughs> heavy and uh, even it has even it's more horsepower it felt mm. terribly slow so there is no sports mode in the gearbox and uh, or at least we didn't find how to turn it on. Yeah, so, so it's um, not a very sporty car, more on the comfort side. Yeah, yeah. the suspension was, was a little bit hard from, from my perspective. Yeah, it was, was comfortable compared uh, to the But way. I'm used to driving big cars that have nice suspension and stuff like that. So, what do you think? Will you switch out for, for Mercedes? Uh, not like this. Maybe <laughs> do an AMG, maybe do an electric car, but uh, for now I think yeah. Audi is uh, sporty. Yeah. You can get them in a class. Okay, so thanks for the help today. Um, yeah, bye guys. Bye. I need to make this edition here. I was editing my video and I saw that I missed a couple of things to say uh, during our small talk with Rainer. I am a little bit disappointed from Mercedes side um, due to a couple of things. One is it never felt like they treated me as a really as a customer, like I, I was a potential buyer for the car, which theoretically someone must have identified me as a potential customer for me to get this invite because this event was not shared to the public, it was through invites only. And the second thing is they didn't have different, different models, like they had only two models that they could offer us and uh, the, the lady that was with us, she didn't know much about the car itself. They weren't prepared. Also, we got like only 20 minutes with the car just to drive, so we couldn't uh, play around with it, see what features it has, what extras, and uh, that basically uh, leaves me without any opinion of the car because I, I didn't uh, enjoy my time there that much. I couldn't see what the car, car could offer me more than being a, a four wheels with an engine. And this is not Mercedes, they offer usually a lot more than just that. Oh, yeah, and then one more thing, uh, since I was speaking English and uh, 
I was running around with the cameras and stuff, I was treated a little bit like a bystander, their focus was mainly on Rainer, after all he's German, but uh, they even didn't get my driver's license because it was foreign. For God's sakes, there is a European standard on driver's license, it's not that hard. So yeah, I, I guess it's mainly up to the staff treatment. Thumbs up to the two ladies with the coffee, the coffee was great. And the rest wasn't that much. To be honest, I got better customer experience when I went to buy my own car and if I got the same as I got with uh, this test drive, most likely I wouldn't have bought the car. On this note, I would like to end today's video and uh, to be honest, I would really hope to hear from Mercedes if they have a comment on this. So get in touch with me, Mercedes. Bye.